How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and it's Father Sunday. What's up, Dad? Hey, what is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father, and I want to talk about getting rich and getting drunk. Not necessarily in that order, but... At the same time, yes. <laughs> if that can be done, it'd be a good deal, uh, I'm ready to go, yeah. Sure. I mean, sure. Okay, well, I want to start... the thing that made me think about that was I saw this story about a guy who got a tattoo on his arm, which made me think about, you know, things that people do when they're drunk. Okay. But this guy wasn't drunk. His friends made him get a tattoo of either Barbie on his butt mm -hmm. or the tattoo of a McDonald's receipt on his forearm. Uh, <laughs> and Wait, he, how, how did they make him do it? Well, I, they just, they just peer pressured him. Just into said, it. go dude, come on. Yeah. He was from, he was from like Switzerland or something. Yeah. And he said, I'm, I, I need to get a tattoo and I, what should I get? And they said, well, you should get this McDonald's tattoo, which is stupid. Why does he need to get a tattoo? I, I don't know. His friends were thought he was too busy with the ladies and they thought somehow getting that tattoo would slow him down. Kinda. I don't know. I don't they're, know. they're not American, so okay, you, know, yeah, you can't yeah. trust them. I, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> but that that made me think about some some stupid things that people do when they do get drunk. Okay. 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 One of the things, obviously, is a tattoo. Another one clearly is driving. Yeah. You know, you don't want to do that. That doesn't ever end very well. Okay. And and fighting. You know, if if, if I see a guy who has a black eye, scarred knuckles, and you know, a cut on his lip, uh huh, I know that he's been in a fight, but I figure that he's been drunk. Yeah, right? probably. Because I mean, normally that's what happened. When I was 21, no, I was actually, yeah, I was 21 and a half, and my roommate turned 21. Mm -hmm. You know, around here in this college town that we live in, yeah. one of the things you do is you take your friends who have a 21st birthday out to around to all the bars. Yeah. Because each bar will give them a free drink. Mm -hmm. So that makes it kind of nice. Well, I took my buddy. That, doesn't that involve drinking and driving? No, no, it's a small oh, town. Walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're okay. walking. Um, so I took my buddy out for his twenty-first birthday. About the fourth or fifth bar, he we were walking out the bar. We lost him. We just lost. I him. turned around to say goodbye to a girl. Walked out front. He was nowhere to be found. We looked on the train tracks because uh -huh. people do fall asleep on the train tracks and die stupidly in this town. How would you fall asleep on the train tracks? I, mean, I don't know. They never anywhere. There's a set out path. A, a train. A big yes. Tons on tons of metal. Easy to avoid. Go. Yes. Incredibly easy to avoid. Right. Almost every year someone dies by falling asleep on the train tracks. Here. Here. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, it's, it's survival of the fittest, really. It's kind of a Darwinism. Apparently. <laughs> so, anyway, we lost him for the whole night. He was gone. Mm -hmm. He was drunk and he was gone. What he did was he went out the front door of the bar, turned right, turned back beside the bar, and fell asleep beside the bar in between the bushes and the bar. <laughs> yeah, I he, he was you fine. Found him, though, right? We found him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So in this modern age, I think it's one of the things you need to avoid when you're drinking, uh, Facebooking and Twitter and Instagram and That's Snapchat. That's the fun part. Wait, how old are you? I'm 15. Okay, so this is hypothetical then. Of course. Okay. Of course, this is for comedic. No, I, th yeah, I think that, that people make bad decisions. Matter, when, as a matter of fact, one of my buddies hooked up with a girl when he was uh, he okay. A girl broke up with him because she was cheating on him. Or he broke up with her. Yeah, okay. Then he got drunk and he started calling her and yeah. trying to connect with her. He hooked up with her again. Yeah. Okay, that was a stupid decision. It didn't last long. He didn't even, you know, I get, get the booty call. Oh, yeah. and, and so, he, he, no, he just put himself in a bad situation. You don't make the best choices when you're drunk. You yeah, know? That, that's typically something that a lot of people know. Yeah, well, those. So when I'm you're just, drunk, this, you don't know it, but yeah. So this, yeah, this is okay, kind yes, of a public yes. service announcement for everybody. Thank you. Okay, all right. So what would happen if you woke up tomorrow morning and you looked at your bank account and you had thirty-one thousand extra dollars in it? What would you do? First reaction, I'd probably call you. I'd probably say like, Dad, I have thirty-one thousand. You'd be like, No, are you sure? You sure you signed in the wrong thing or something? And then you'd get you say I did something, right. and then and then. We'd see it, and then we probably wouldn't do anything. We'd throw for, a party, right? We'd go for, get drunk. Well, I, I'd be, I, <laughs> I, I'm down. No, yeah. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be freaking out. And then after a day or two, mm -hmm. I'd probably start to spend the money. Okay, well, that's kind of what happened to this kid in Georgia, uh, Dansville, Georgia. Uh, they that say would be insane, that man. this teen is under arrest and accused of spending twenty five thousand dollars that the bank accidentally put into his account. Which I think, when I heard this before, I thought this was absolute BS. Well, you don't think he should be arrested? No, no. I think the bank should have to freaking man up and say, we give that guy who they accidentally put it in, let him spend that money. The, the bank did it wrong. Right. The, it, the bank, it's a, it's not it's, a user error. It's, it's a, it's a bank person error. It's the whoever, the teller, whoever put it in. It's their fault. Well, the, but, the, the bank owes the kid $25,000. They can't just take why? it away. Wait, a teller made a mistake. They entered the wrong account so number. So that mistake is costing them twenty five thousand dollars. It's not going to cost the kid who luckily got thirty one grand in his account and spent twenty five of it. That should not cost him to go to freaking jail. 
Well, wait. If someone, if you hand someone a ten dollars when you're buying buying something at the store, and they hand they give you change for a hundred dollars, okay? So they give yeah. you like ninety something dollars. That's the that's the other people's error, not but yours. I'm not saying you, it's a moral thing. I'm saying that's the error. It is their error, and you end up with that money. Correct. Yeah. So I think the bank should have to pay that twenty five grand. The guy who spent it and luckily got thirty one in his account. Okay, maybe take on that extra time. six that six that he didn't spend. Yeah, but. I should say he gets to keep what he bought. And they, it said he visited a car dealership, stores, and candy gas stations or whatever. Yeah, yeah, fast food and stores. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a, Yeah, he bought a car. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, they did try to make a deal with him to, to, to pay back the money. They were really re- ready to deal with him. But he said, I don't have the money. I don't have yeah, that kind yeah, of money. Exactly. If I had that kind of money, I would have this stuff before you gave me the money. Yeah. So, uh, actually, he's he's facing charges of theft. By taking, which I have never what heard What is theft of. by taking? Yeah, apparently, it's what you do when you spend the money that someone accidentally puts in your account. That, no. Yep. No, I'm sorry. If any of you guys see this and you're, you're, you somehow connected this story, no. Goodbye. Yeah. You're, you're, that is terrible. <laughs> that, that is, it's it's, it's so wrong. It's just well, wrong. Well, okay. So you, I, obviously, you would be happy if you had this, this money put into your account. Oh, yeah. And so oh, that, yeah. So I, I got to think, well, what, what happens to people when they win the lottery? Because you and I have played this game When you a get, lot. like... Five hundred million in your bank or something? Yeah, or yeah, just serious whatever. half a million or more in, I have in no, a lot. Right? No clue. How, what do you do? Well, I I looked it up. I looked up how how much does this affect people's lives? Okay, oh, the lottery when people win. Yeah, okay. when people win. Okay, so the percentage of lottery winners who are happier after what percentage would you say that is? I hear like ten percent or something. Five percent. Yeah, fifty five percent. Okay, 55%. Yeah, that's way better than it sounds. What about? Uh, no More effect. No effect on happiness. What no do you think? effect. Uh, yeah. People like, who said I was the same happy as I am like before 1% and after. Forty three percent said Why? no effect. Well, because how about this? I'm sure you've heard this before. Money don't buy you happiness, right? But it really does. It really does. Well, don't tell me you wouldn't be happy if you that's just woke what poor up people. 10 million think. That's what poor people think. We're not poor, and I still think money would buy me happiness. Uh, really? 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 I do. I right. think. I think there there are happy poor people, and they're happy. Fifty rich million people. in your bank. Okay, and you, you'd, you'd we'd be balling. How many how many rich people commit suicide? I don't know how many poor people commit suicide. Probably not as many. Probably more. I don't know. Well, okay. well all right. Okay, and some people say they're less happy. Two percent say they're yes, less exactly. happy. After, yes, exactly. Yes. All right. So if if you won money, a matter of fact, if your friend won money or a family member won money, yeah. you figured some would be coming your way, right? Well, I mean, it depends on what friend. Yeah. Okay, so okay, if it was like one of my close friends who plays League of Legends, I'd expect him to give me like unlimited riot points, which is like the points you use okay. to buy stuff on League I mean, of Legends. Like I want unlimited that. That's not tons of money, right? No, no. no. Okay, so well, it's money, av- but yeah. The average number of uh, friends a man gives money to mm-hmm. is three. Three percent. No, just three guys. Oh, like okay. the lottery yeah, winner, okay. he would give money to three of his friends. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's a good. So, number. so women, how many? How many? What's the average number of friends that they give money like to? Fifty-five or something. <laughs> <laughs> give to everyone. This, this was kind of a, an interesting one. One. Wow. Women. Women Why? appear appear to not value their friends. I'd say like eight. Yeah, you'd think. You'd think because yeah. they're much more social and yeah, they have yeah. all their friends and they're doing all this stuff and laughing yeah. and giggling. No, no, not not true. All right. So, what percentage of people? Stayed in the same career after they won the lottery. Four, five, forty-eight percent of people Why? stayed. I would, I would say in my job, I would just hire uh, someone to do all the parts of my job that Why? I didn't. Bro, like. we would just ball. I drop out of school if you, if you won. Bro. Would you? That, I don't. Oh I, yeah. But, but bro, if you win like three hundred mil, I'm out. I'm outie. I'm okay. outie. Peace. Okay. Peace. Che- now check this out. Balling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> of the lottery winners, what percentage of the people gave money to their children? I have no clue. I'm not Only fifty-seven percent. Fifty. I imagine like so. You better. You'd have to be nice to me, Mister. If nice I won guy. the lottery, I'm a nice guy, dude. Okay. So, what percentage of money gave parent or of the lottery winners gave money to their parents? What do you think? Seventy. Fifty-one percent. So only half. A little people more are than selfish. Half people. Uh, overall, okay. So, what percentage of money gave lottery winners gave money to their siblings? Fifty. At sixty six percent, so you would give some money okay. to your brother if you oh, won, yeah, for would sure, you? For sure, for and sure. You, and if he won, you certainly would expect him. You'd to. give me all of it. That's what I expect. Because yeah. if I win, I'll give him all of it. If he wins, he'll give me all of it. There Double our chance, kind of. I don't know. Okay, and and the last one. Um, what percentage of lottery winners still play the lottery after they win? Like three. 
Sixty-eight percent. Why? Why would you want to win more? Well, okay, because you, you're lucky, Mr. Lucky Stick, right? Because because uh, you figure if you hit it once, maybe why not you hit, it to twice? hit it again? Yeah, I yeah. guess that's kind of cool. I want to go get a lottery ticket. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's shoot for three hundred likes on this. We have still got people to shout out the new donators and the new yeah. Twitch followers. You can like, leave a like down below. Check out all my social media links. Here we go. All right, you know this is this is what I like. I like hanging out or talking about the people we hang out yeah, with. Yeah, I, I like doing this. All right, so the new Twitch TV donators we have with the hashtag Ballers, Ballers. we have Faulty Rex One Hundred and One. Thank you very much, Faulty. Mister Firmnarg, what a what a great name. I Thank think you, you should Mr. be Firm. able to say that backwards. Mr. Grand Grand Mid Grand Grand Murph. Room. Ah, uh, thank not. you very much, man. Uh, Slim Baby ninety four. Thank you, Slim. Quad Squad Queen. Uh huh. Thank you, Blitz the Quad Squad King. Thank you Blitz very much. Oh, I Becker. Oh. It's all gone. I'll make sure to fix that. We've got Clyde twelve three nine nine Soccer Skittles Smurf five twenty. These are the new followers. Jake D Hoyles Temples Link Skies Piper Club thirteen Piper Cub thirteen Chems Bedazing Green Tux Mobster Scacy thirty one Sky Phantom eleven and Joy Vital Platic Sun Codes oh. Extremes. Nato Snowy, sure. Thrismo, Jazz Thrismo. Blood, Thrismo donated, so thank you very much, Thrismo. 17911, Meep 5, Centipede 9, Meltuma, Zach Limonius, Silent Assassin 35, D Cook 4114, Plastic Swordsman, That Aussie Kid 101, Pink Bobo, King Jaws, Staz HD, D Cost T27, oh, Cryptic Nato. OV, Nathan the H, Pyromaniac <laughs> 17, Bivin 352, Deco TV, thank you, Deco, man. Deco. I, I know you're a streamer, thank you, Deco. Uh, Oxus Serenity X00, Sir Pla Sir Please Calm Down, John McGinnis <laughs> 2000, Astonish, Misa 2525, Bron Bronco Girl 09, Baller Status 4 Dade, Best Start Trying, uh, Nerdy Grinder 223, Meeks Madness, Othor, Prismog, Lime Sal 88, Hawkeyes Fan 1893, T Plush Clutch, Frostin, Buck Slurry, uh, Three Greek, Little Lord 559, Chump Baked, Bake it back in. Uh, Jello Man 585, The Diamond Railroad, Lux Wet, Selly May Man 99, It's Hawk Zoo, Foo Foo, Malix <laughs> HD, John McGinnis, thanks for uh, okay. refollowing. Uh, Luis Awesome 77, I'm Danny Fresh, uh, Dane Buskus, Night sure. Raid 33, Joss Bo 521601, John 1234555555, Zom <laughs> Beast 801, Farico Chains, Farico. Encore 1237765, whatever, KKK, Ooh. Ooh. Zuko, John McKin John! It's I'm triple. done! <laughs> done! <laughs> Too many. Mythical Bigfoot, Mythical Bigfoot, Zom Beast 801, Old School, It's Dog, E321, Eric, Last Dupe Tech Nine Nation. <laughs> sure. Cool YouTube. CWBSSTARS28. Stoner9575. Trooper0024. Yeah, 024. Sure. I'm Vitalized. West Bay650. QD Does It 6. Yeah. Mr. Papa Smurf HD. Yeah. VG Frag. The Guy Who Bros. Oh, the Hockey bro. Fan JT91. Mr. Papa Smurf HD. Dot Cheese Weasel. IDK Nate Shot. Edman the Great. Gino211. PS3 vs. Xbox One. XX Xbox Game Freak. XX. Casus, Ain't of Lies, Mythical Bigfoot, Domination, 1801, Hido Fever, The Black Cod, D Durbar 08, Jaws Bo 521601, Ironic Death, Aria, Staz HD, Tech Central, Best Caucasian. A lot sure, of, a lot that's, of race that's me. Oh, oh, wow. Damn, I'm oh, the best oh. Caucasian. <laughs> uh, Kevin Station, Go 178, Damado Boy, SPNS 2, Flame and Cookies, Buck Bobo 1, B Master 01, Nuke, Nuke. I want Nuke to say has Nuke has style. Nuke has style. Cash is one eight seven. Stephen O'Toole, Taco Lover seventeen twelve. Vic Tomex, I'm Craze. Chance to her. Chance to fur. Chance to offer. Uh, XX sure. Hollywood XX fifteen. Mr. Firmnarg, thank you again, Mr. Firmnarg, for donating. Krebco Krebcover, Chris Romero zero nine nine. Shout out to you, Chris. Victor nineteen ninety seven. Ahuante forty five. Ethel C on fifteen. X Y M Limitory. X Vortex. X Papa. X Denver four seven two zero. The Lone Sniper Leader. Miss Two Bozzy. X Prodigy Snipes. Pebble Spage. A Blinks. X Split. King Wizard twelve twelve. Fat Guy Eating a Duck. Of course. <laughs> Brandon Guido. Nate Shot Optic. Techno Loves Raptor. I think Rose, yes, yeah, sir. Swell Rock. Swell oh, Rock. Swell Rock 12. Oops. Blue Pancakes for you. Shift Thank Zeta. You. Lick my butthole. Oh, no. like my. Oh, Blitz CK. <laughs> <laughs> X Dinosaur. RFPTRS Master. K Man Win 90. Killer Figs. Dangerous. Wheeled by Ramen. Uh, no no effort. effort. Fultz Big Dong. <laughs> Thank you, Of course. Big Fultz. <laughs> Big Dong. Uh, Pulse. 
Kilo TV, Delta Hawk 24, Cold X Zoji, Semi 44, Erxadium, uh, Cushy Cush, uh, Quantum FT's Long Lost Brother, there he is. Heartless 1234, Corey Howe, uh, 39, LOL 116, I Love Cod Ghost 1, Ideo Vapor, Shadow Killer, I I Temper V2, Ricket 37 Swag, I Eat Food, Doob XX, Big 2 3, Undercover Pickle, Quantum FT Junior, Junior, Spanish Devil 24, Prankster 543, Kevin DBP, Pink Bobo, and Twerking Walrus. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm out. Me too.